Hello, and welcome to the IPDA demonstration of the Lab Solutions software. IPDA is a powerful new tool that allows the user to deconvolute two overlapping peaks by using their UV spectrums acquired by the PDA detector. This data file exhibits two co-eluting peaks that are not baseline resolved. To compare the relative concentration of these two components, two approaches have traditionally been used. The first, shown here, is to simply drop an integration event from the valley between the peaks to the baseline and divide the area between the peaks. The second method is to model each peak as a Gaussian curve and simulate the area it would cover. Now there is a better way with Shimadzu's IPDA software. By clicking on each peak, you can see that the spectra have different maximas, the first at 256 nanometers, and the second at 242 nanometers. To use the IPDA convolution, change the display from the extracted spectra to channel 1, your channel of interest. To use the PDA deconvolution, change your method view window to the edit function. Then open your wavelength options by clicking on the absorbance button. From here, click on the deconvolution tab and enable deconvolution you'll need to enter the start and stop times that you wish to deconvolute at. Once this is done, you can apply the change in settings to your spectrum and watch as IPDA deconvolutes the peaks. As you can see here, IPDA has successfully resolved both peaks based on their UV spectra. In addition to modeling two unresolved peaks, IPDA can also deconvolute shouldering peaks, as shown here. As you can see, a peak of much lower intensity has been deconvoluted from the primary peak in the chromatogram. IPDA continues to be a useful tool when dealing with trace amounts of impurities that are co-eluting with a peak of interest. The peak in this final chromatogram does not appear to have any co-eluting peaks. However, if we carefully examine the peak purity profile shown on the right, we can see that towards the trailing end of the peak, the peak purity decreases, indicating an impurity. With traditional peak purity software, we are aware that an impurity exists in the spectrum, but have no way to quantitate the amount of that contaminant. With IPDA, we can now obtain that information. After the IPDA function is applied to the spectrum, we can clearly see an impurity peak shown when you zoom in on the baseline. This concludes our presentation into the new IPDA software. Excellence in science. Shimazu.